Welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to solve some of the questions from the chapter 3 that is metal and non-metal. Our next set of questions are from page number 46. First is why is sodium kept immersed in kerosene oil? So the answer is sodium is very very reactive metal and when it comes in a contact with atmospheric oxygen it will start burning. So to avoid contact with air to avoid contact with atmospheric oxygen, we are keeping it immersed in kerosene oil. So this is how we can write it. Sodium is a very reactive metal and if it comes in a contact with air or atmospheric oxygen, it will start burning. So to avoid contact with air, we are keeping it immersed in kerosene oil. In second question, we have to write equation when iron will react with steam. So when iron will react with steam, this will be the equation that 3Fe will react with 4 molecules of water and here we have mentioned the state of water that is gas, that means it is steam. Then we will get Fe3O4, that means iron oxide, iron 3 oxide, ferric oxide and 4 molecules of hydrogen gas. In second, we have to write equation when calcium is reacting with water. So when calcium is reacting with water, we will get hydroxide of calcium that is calcium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Similarly, when potassium will react with water, we will get potassium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. In third question, this table has been given to us and we have to answer some of the question. In this, these are the metals metal A, B, C and D, when we are adding metal A to iron sulphate, then what will happen has been mentioned it here. So this is a reaction between metal A and iron 2 sulphate. This is a reaction between metal A and copper sulphate. Here these places are empty in the table, where I have mentioned the cross, that means there is no reaction in between them. That means metal A and FeSO4, so there is no reaction in between them. Now from this table, when we will see that metal B will react with ferrous sulphate, this is Fe2SO4, that means it is ferrous sulphate. When metal B is reacting with ferrous sulphate, then displacement reaction is taking place. When the displacement reaction will take place, when metal B is more reactive compared to iron then only it can replace Fe so here we can write that B metal is reactive compared to Fe then only it will displace Fe whatever metals they have given us that is Fe, Cu, Zn and Ag from that zinc is the most reactive after that iron will come after that copper will come and then silver will come this is the reactivity for this metal so accordingly we will see that which metal can replace zinc. So none of the metal can replace zinc here. That means more than zinc any of this metal is not reactive. These metals are not reactive compared to zinc. Our zinc is the most reactive metal from this. Now first. The most reactive metal from this that we can check from here. So B metal can displace Fe. Our second most reactive metal is Fe. So from this metal which metal can displace iron is the most reactive from this metal. We can also say that copper is displaced by A metal. But copper is at the third place. Silver is displaced by metal C, but silver is at the last place. So our B metal is most reactive because it can displace Fe. Now when B plus CuSO4 will be there, B plus CuSO4 will be there, then what will happen that we have to see. Now copper is less reactive compared to iron. So if it can replace iron it can definitely replace copper so here also displacement reaction can happen now we have to arrange this metals 
as the reactivity will decrease. So, this is the most reactive matter B. Then after that, which can displace copper? None of the matter can displace zinc. So, we are not thinking about zinc. B has displaced Fe. So, we have put B at the first place because it is the most reactive from this. Now, after that Cu will come. So, Cu can be displaced by metal A. So, after that metal A. Then, after that Ag. So, this. Displacement of Ag is done by C. And the last one is D because as we can see there is no displacement reaction for D. D cannot displace any of this matter. So D is the least reactive matter. So this is as per the decreasing reactivity. This is the most reactive matter and this is the least reactive matter. Fourth question is, which gas is produced when dilute hydrochloric acid is added to any matter? We know that whenever the acid is mixed with any matter, the hydrogen gas will evolve. So H2 gas will evolve when any matter is reacting with acid. Now we have to write a reaction. When iron reacts with dilute H2SO4, we have to write the reaction. So iron is Fe is in solid then dilute H2SO4. When dilute H2SO4 will react with iron, we will get this Fe will react with SO4. So we will get Fe SO4 and then H2 gas will be liberated at the end. So this will be the reaction when iron will react with dilute H2SO4. Then fifth question is, write observation when zinc is added to solution of FeSO4. So zinc will be in solid form, then FeSO4 and what will happen? Here, if zinc is more reactive compared to iron, then it will replace iron from this compound. And if zinc is less reactive compared to iron, then this reaction won't be possible. We know that zinc is reactive compared to iron. So for this you have to remember the activity series of matter. Then only you can answer this type of question. So here zinc can replace Fe and this reaction is known as displacement reaction. So this will become ZnSO4. Why? Because zinc is reactive compared to iron. And here we will get I am in the solid form separated. In coming videos, we are going to solve some of the more questions from the exercise. So don't forget to subscribe, learn yourself. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing.